Good afternoon. George Cavalier goes for HFT bonds. Well, we built on the uh, bullish reversal day that the markets put up on Friday. And I just I can't get excited yet. Volume in the 10 year, 584,000, 187,000 bonds. Open interest was actually down a little bit in the uh, bonds and pretty much the rest of the curve on Friday. It was up a little bit in the 10 year. Some kind of corrective trade still going on. I still think there's some upside potential here. Probably a retest of the recent highs that we saw late last week. I wouldn't be surprised to see it go even higher than that over the next uh, couple weeks. But, you know, it feels like I'm walking through a minefield trying to be bullish on the bonds and notes here. And at any minute, I'm going to step on a mine that's going to blow my leg off. Well, just have to be ready. That's what stops are for, right? So, well, let's see, uh, you know, a little more upside, I think. Uh, my game plan is to try and buy dips. We'll get dips this week. We have the auction. The two-year starts tomorrow, um, fives and sevens, Wednesday and Thursday. Pretty good-sized buyback uh, week. The Fed's in every day this week with a couple hefty ones. We saw a pretty big one today, and I think, uh, huh, I want to say Wednesday and Friday are pretty good-sized buybacks, too, and I think those will tend to help the market. Always be aware of the fact that when we don't bounce into those buybacks, that's usually a sign of weakness. I'd love to see uh, what happens on the retest of the highs from here. That's my whole game plan right now. Um, not much else to add at that point. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow.